Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll take a closer look at this new Panda Drop THX collaboration headphones. Let's see what they're all about. First of all, I ordered these on Indiegogo like a half a year ago and they came like last week. So I think like I'm one of the uh, not many people that have actually these right now. This is like actually a production model. I saw that people have like a videos about these, but pre-production. So they made a couple of changes to these. Uh, they supposedly uh, put more cushioning here, which I think they could still put a little more, obviously. And uh, these these pads, I think these pads uh, should be thicker too. So what are these? These are supposedly the best Bluetooth uh, headphones with uh, uh, regarding uh, not noise cancelling like Bose or Sony, uh, but sound actually. So they, I listen, you know, I listen to them and they sound pretty good, you know, definitely better than my Bose. Uh, I'm currently using Bose 700. So these pandas are actually like have very good sound, you know. But there's there are a couple trade couple of trade offs. So uh, first of all, no kinds no noise cancelling, which is not an issue for me uh, because they're pretty tight. Uh, so the seal is pretty good. But the problem is that because they are pretty tight, um, you will not be using them probably more than a couple of hours because my ears will get you know starts to hurt after a couple of hours of use. So let's start from what you will get in the box. In the box you will get, of course, your pandas and your case, which is pretty nice. Uh, you know, it will protect your headphones, but these are not really that foldable, so it takes kind of a lot of space. Uh, also, you will get, uh, you know, your headphone jack, and uh, if you still have it, in your phone, you know, and the uh, charging cable is, which is type C to type C cable. So let's talk about the sound because that's what really these are all about. These are the best sounding Bluetooth headphones so far on the market. And uh, I agree what I can say. Uh, I'm, I'm daily driving my Bose 700s and these are definitely beating these. Uh, so the sound is great. Build quality, these are built pretty nice, you know, good, qual good quality, not like the best because it's plastic, but it's good quality plastic, you know. And my, my one concern, uh, actually two concerns, uh, is the foam here, it's pretty thin and the uh, ear caps could be uh, a little thicker too. Uh, but other than that, build quality is pretty good, you know. These are equipped with a AAA amplifier, which basically uh, makes them sound that good and they don't drain that much battery, you know, because they're Bluetooth. Uh, so uh, that's, that's how they achieve this uh, good quality headphones without cable. Uh, they're also e equipped here with a microphone and a headphone jack you know, uh, your USB Type-C charger and a controller here to, you know, skip, pause, play your music or anything like that. It's one right here to turn on and off your headphones. It's all in the same spot, which is, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, nothing fancy like touch, touch screen or anything, but you know. One thing that I dislike about these is, you know, power button, cause you have to like press Hold, uh, press and hold the power button for five seconds in order to turn them on, which is very long, you know. You know, design, it's obviously like personal thing. So these are like, I would say like classic, classic like design that would like not look terrible in a couple of years. Uh, so future proof, I guess, <laughs> yeah. The battery life is pretty good around like, I don't know, you'll probably get around 25 to 30 hours uh, easy on these uh, 
using Bluetooth, so that's pretty good, you know. Uh, probably one of the reasons is because they're lacking noise cancelling, uh, which is alright considering the fact that these are like pretty, you know, pretty uh, isolating, because uh, these these earcaps are like pretty uh, pretty tight, so that's that's why you not probably. Uh, go for like super long sessions like more than two hours probably not I mean uh, so gaming I mean if you're gaming for like a lot of time then that could be an issue like you know but other than that like sound and the overall headphones are pretty good these are $400 headphones you know pre tax so these are quite quite expensive you know considering like um, their rivals would be probably like Bose and Sony so mm, but the sound quality is definitely better than theirs but they have no noise cancelling so th that's a trade-off so the question is should you get it and I would say considering a price uh, it's 400 bucks I mean if you're looking for a Bluetooth headphones that have definitely the best uh, best sound uh, considering Bluetooth and the price then this is it so thanks for watching see you guys on the next one peace